Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. If you're new here, and if you are new here, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm back. I haven't been on here in forever. And I really, really miss y'all so much. I got so much exciting stuff going on, and I'm just so excited to talk to my people. Like, what's up, y'all? Right now, I'm out running errands. I'm going to do this vlog style. We're going to be studying for the NCLEX today. I've been studying, 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 y'all. I've been using UWorld as well as Kaplan and a little bit of Saunders. I've been using a little bit of Saunders too. So, we're going to get into that. I got me my coffee already, y'all. I got a free coffee because I literally go to Dunkin' so freaking much. I got a large iced coffee with four French vanilla swirls and four blueberry shots, three creams. It's bomb, it's so good. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. This is the perfect summer drink on apartment tours because my lease is literally up in a month. Like I have literally a month to find a new apartment. I've been par apartment searching literally for like the last month and a half. It's in the cut and y'all know I like, I like that. Sorry y'all, my phone got too hot. Wouldn't let me record. We're about to go to one more apartment. I have a doctor's appointment at four. The apartment I'm about to go to is about 15 minutes away and it's 2.30. So hot, it's 90 degrees today, oh my God. Y'all see my NCLEX books over there i have a kaplan book and then that's just another saunders book let's go ahead and go to this other apartment i'm gonna let my camera cool off a little bit because it's hot i said it's 90 degrees and it's getting overheated so i will see you guys in a little while bye so i'm walking to the library right now i'm at unc charlotte they don't have no free parking here this is like probably gonna be my second or third ticket up here because i'm not a student like i don't go to unc charlotte never been to unc charlotte as a student so hopefully they don't tell me i'm kind of out of breath i'm on the way to the library i think i found my apartment i just have to fill out the application i'm really excited about that we're about to go in here and study this car's about to run over me where it is a far walk come on all this walking just to get told come on he's so for real but i'm not paying for parking you see how that man just paid for parking girl i ain't doing that let me hit y'all up and i get inside this library because this is a walk it's like nine degrees i told y'all that from the study room like i said i'm not a student here i don't have a parking pass i don't have like i guess the permission to actually be in like the study rooms or the exclusive areas I gotta do what i gotta do i'm actually downstairs in the basement their library is three floors and it's so nice found like a little ducked off study area so hopefully nobody kicked me out because i've definitely been kicked out of their study rooms before in clex let's talk about it i've been studying y'all like before we graduated they gave us basically like an NCLEX study plan it was basically like a map of how we're going to study for the NCLEX like four to six weeks before we graduated my school used kaplan i know other schools use hesi and ati and i'm so happy happy that they do use Kaplan. It literally resembles the test so freaking much. After I graduated, I know I'm skipping around, I'm sorry. I didn't sign up for my NCLEX while I was still in school. I waited until I graduated because I had finals. A couple days before graduation, we had someone come to the school. I don't know if she worked for Kaplan or my school in particular. It was like a three-day study session of just NCLEX stuff. I went to like two of the days. I know I worked night shift, so I would get off work, take like a little cat nap, and then go to the Kaplan prep. It was very helpful when I did go. And after I graduated, I signed up for the NCLEX. I came up to like $300. And then after that, I got my ATT, which is your, your authorization to test. And once you receive that, then you can basically schedule your NCLEX. Because I waited kind of last minute, a lot of the days were pretty much gone. <laughs> I signed up. Thank God testing is available in my hometown where my parents live. I decided to sign up in my hometown, which works out perfectly. So I first started studying a little bit the end of May and I was using Saunders. So it's an app that you can get. It's a Saunders app. It's free. And I think they give you like over 100 questions maybe like 100 200 questions for free their math questions their new gen questions their select all the apply their everything so i started with that they had really good rationales so i pretty much did all the questions in that and then one of my classmates she had u world she let me use u world thank god i think the way that u world is set up and don't quote me on it because i only have u world the app i haven't logged in on like my laptop and got on u world they have the question bank and they have like over 2,000 questions. And then they have two, I wanna say practice tests. UWorld does have good, good questions and great rationales. And it also gives you rationale. It's amazing. I love UWorld. So I used UWorld consistently. I was using UWorld consistently for probably like four weeks. It was this guy who reached out to me and he literally took the NCLEX a couple days after he graduated. He got Kaplan. He said his school used ATI, but he got Kaplan. And he was saying, literally Kaplan looks just like the NCLEX. He was like, use Kaplan. <laughs> and so I really started to in with my Kaplan because it's crazy because I've had Kaplan since January 2022 and I never used Kaplan in nursing school like I did but I used it for what I had to use it for like we used to take practice Kaplans and it used to be like five percent of our grade sometimes I used it to study for like focused exams but I never really used Kaplan but when I really started like digging into Kaplan Kaplan has everything y'all Kaplan has focused exam they have in their time time focused exam so if you just need to focus on cardiovascular mental health maternity peds whatever it is like 
you can take focus exams. They have a question bank, so you can use as many questions from the question bank that you need. They have the study plan. And like I said, my school provided a study plan for us. It tells you basically like, your study plan. I tapped into this. Like once I saw like, dang, my school actually has a study plan for me, girl, I tapped in. It tells you what tests to take. And with Kaplan, you need to make a 65 or above. So I was actually doing really good on Kaplan's. So it tells you like which question trainers to take and like your diagnostic exam and basically like how to test all that, which I need to write down because I've taken all these. I just haven't written it down. So we're gonna do that. It's like they tell you, you need to make a 65, girl. I made a 73, 75. Like I was doing pretty good. So I was like, okay. I also give you like a test schedule. This is for a month. I basically started started doing like 200 questions a day. I know they say do 100 questions a day, but I was doing like 200 a day. I feel like the part that takes the longest, the questions ain't the part that take the longest for me. I think the part that takes the longest when studying for the NCLEX is reading them rationales and actually like understanding them for the missed questions because I took notes on my rationales, which I need to go over. I have this notebook and literally I wrote notes of stuff. I wrote notes like of anything I missed, I wrote notes on. I also have Kaplan and Clicks Readiness Test, and then they also have CAD exams on Kaplan, which are really, really good, which are like mock and Clicks tests. Did my first one yesterday and did not cut off at 85 questions. I was like, ooh, but it cut off at 89. So yeah, they said I'm good. So we gonna keep on practicing. I'm about to show y'all my Kaplan so y'all will see what I'm talking about. But y'all, honestly, at this point, I feel pretty confident. I'm ready to take the NCLEX. I'm ready to get this over with. Another thing that I really, really recommend is the Mark K lectures, and they're all on YouTube, all of them. He has has lectures one through seven and then seven through 12 just dropped like last week if you can tap into those listen to those like i listen to them sometimes when i'm driving home from work now they're long those lectures are like nine hours each <laughs> you can like tap in sometimes i listen to them if i'm taking a shower i listen to them like if i'm writing down my rationale listen to them like literally as i go to sleep yeah i'm about to show y'all my captain and everything i've been doing so this is the cat exam that i took um, yesterday as y'all see I was up till six in the morning, night shift problems. But I was above and it took me two hours. It don't stop either, y'all. Like, it don't stop. I was literally washing laundry. I thought the thing was stopping. It was not stopping. I lost connection. It did not stop. So it took me two hours, but you get five hours on the NCLEX and it literally has everything, case studies and stuff like that. I only missed 26 questions out of um, 89 and I passed. It said I was like above. So we'll see. The part that y'all really need to tap into is welcome to the NCLEX. These are videos. It just tells you everything about the NCLEX, which is really good. These are the question trainers. And I did, I need to only be focusing on NGM because I'm taking the new gen NCLEX, but I took these to finish reviewing it pretty much, but like 73. Question trainer two, I made a 74. Those you like, if you changed any answers, stuff like that. And then it breaks down the categories. Like I said, help, promotion, and maintenance. That's my lowest category. That's question trainer three. And this one was 100 questions. So each one is different. I scored a 65. So I ain't do that good on question trainer three. But I was at work when I did it. So I don't think I was as focused. And then I took, like I said, my first CAT exam yesterday. And it turned off in 85 questions. I'm only doing new gen now. I passed. I did good on that. So we're moving along. So I finished phase one. So I'm going to phase two today. Again, they have like these videos I can watch. I'm probably gonna skip through that. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the NCLEX practice test. I'm gonna take the NGN. They have Roadmap to Success. That's like another video. Like I said, they have a lot of good videos. And then I'm gonna take my second CAT exam. Then after that, this is the last phase. More question trainers. I'm probably not gonna get through all of these. Like I'm probably gonna be very selective on the ones I choose. This has how many questions? 150 questions. So it's just like the NCLEX. So that's not bad. Six has 150. That's like the NCLEX. This one has 125. And this one has 100. So it keeps moving up. In the Q Bank, I've been doing that too. These are just questions that you can um, take that focus on the NCLEX. You can review how you did performance by recent tests. I got a 65 on this on the QBank. I did 85 questions and I got a 65. And you have a sample test, then third CAT exam. I'm definitely doing a CAT exam if I don't do nothing else. And then my readiness test, definitely doing that if I don't do nothing else. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So y'all, this is literally how the NCLEX looks. Same thing. It's the same format. I will show y'all how it looks because I was on the NCLEX website last night and it literally looks like this. The timer, you can hide the timer. And it has the questions right there. You can only hit next. You can't go back or anything. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I just finished that test and I made a 70%. 
Like I said, on Kaplan, you need your percentiles to be 65 or higher. This test was the NCLEX RN practice test, NGN. So NGN is new generation NCLEX. I got a 70%, we got 83 out of 118 points, and there were 70 questions. So actually, I feel like this test was easier. I don't know why, but I thought it was easier. I'm about to count how many I missed. 20. I missed 20 out of 70. Actually, y'all, the library is going to close, so I'm going to go. It's 840, so I'm going to go ahead and get some food and then go home. And we're going to take the second CAT exam. Probably when I eat, I'm going to either listen to Mark K's lectures or go through some of these Kaplan videos. You know, I am like a night owl. Like last night, I didn't go to bed till 7 this morning. And I woke up at 10 because I knew how abnormal I was about studying. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head out because I, like I said, I didn't pay for parking and I really don't wanna get towed. And they have already given me a ticket last summer. So I don't know if they still got my license plate on file or what, but we're about to go ahead and pack up. I have like stuff everywhere. I'm honestly happy because it's still daylight. I don't know where I'm going. I really don't know where I'm going. This is wrong. Wait, no, it's not. I remember seeing that time. Honestly, y'all, I'm so ready to take this test. I'm ready to get it out the way. I'm tired of people asking me when I'm taking the test. Mind your business. I feel like I've had enough time to prepare. I feel like my readiness is there. My confidence has grown. And it's time to take this test. Let's get out the way. What did I tell y'all? I knew I was going to get a parking sticker. I knew I was going to get a parking sticker. I knew it. Luckily, it's just a warning. I got one last year too, and it was like $50. I never paid it. So I guess it's a new year. They're being generous because they just gave me a warning for $0. So that's dope. They don't play about parking. So guests are supposed to park over here, but girl, who's paying for that? Mm -mm, Y'all got me messed up. I'm not paying for that. So I'll take my free ticket. Thanks. Okay, y'all. So I ended up getting wing stop, boneless, hot honey wings. I got more. Mm. I need to do ASMR. I should change this channel from nursing content to ASMR. I'm going to go home because we got stuff to do. I want to do a few more tests before I go to bed. I have so many bags because I was like really outside today, like from early morning to late night. I will see you guys in a little bit. That food was too good. <laughs> I'm going to decompress, wind down, put on some chill clothes, take a shower, get in my mood, and then study. But I'm scared to because I'm so tired. I went to bed at 7 a.m. and I woke up at 10 a.m. So we're going to see. I will see y'all a little later.